Hello hey folks, I got a new knife for you. So what I have here is the Emerson Knives Elvia. So this was a design by Ed Calderon, uh, who's former law enforcement, and he makes some pretty cool designs. And this was influenced by his mother's knife. So she had some kind of like a knife very similar to the shape where she used it for food prep. And to honor her, I guess he made this knife named after her, Elvia. And this is actually a pretty fairly new knife. I didn't know that myself. So apparently this was designed by Ed Calderon and he got Rick Lala to make the first prototype in 2018. It wasn't released till 2019 at Blade Show. And I, I'm trying to think now if I was in Blade Show in 2019, uh, I can't remember if we skipped 2019 Blade Show. We probably did. I want to say we did. Um, but yeah, this is like a pical shape knife and it's grown a bit of a following. Initially, when I first saw it, I thought it was a little bit weird, but it definitely grew on me right away. I think the bandit still doesn't get it. I told him, dude, I finally got on the wait list. So what it is, is when you want this on... Emerson Knives, you know, God, you know, if you can get the custom, God bless you, you know, but Emerson Knives has a wait list and they release it every now and then. So I got on the wait list. I didn't wait too long. I think I waited like a few months, but um, yeah, the bandit doesn't get it. He doesn't get it. He thought I was joking when I said I got on the wait list and that I, I got called. So about, let's see. Uh, so I'm late to the show, right? So I think September September 30th is when I got the notification email for the release of the this the Elvia for waitlisters. They gave you a code. You could buy two. You could buy this one with the satin finish or the one with the black. So both with G10 and one with this uh, satin finish and um, like a black coated blade. Um, so it was only you can only be one of each, right? I only bought this one. So I bought this one and very happy. Um, it sold out quickly. The black took a little bit to sell out. So I kept hemming and hawing. I said, maybe I should get the black too. But I just went with the satin finish. And then, of course, they sold out. Both models sold out. And what it, my plan is, my plan is, is that I want to get scales for this through uh Kalis Johnson on Instagram and Facebook. So he makes these awesome scales out of whatever you want. G10, uh, micarta. I think he even makes it in wood. Uh, because, not knock on this, but this is uh, a G10 scale, as you can see. All right, just black G10, titanium liners. It is a liner lock. Uh, CPM 154, I believe, is the steel. Does it say it on it? Yep. Oh, no. Uh, I think that's just a serial number. But I believe this is CPM 154. I don't know if it's on the blade anywhere. But, yeah, um, it's great. The G10 looks good, except it's flat, right? It's not contoured. It feels very grippy in your hand, which I guess is good if that's, you know, if that's what you want to do with it, right? It does, it's a little rough and you can see it kind of takes the skin cells and it just gets wedged in this style of G10. So yeah, it's very tactical for sure in design. Somebody said, so basically this is for, somebody said on one of my posts, this is basically for cutting boxes and cutting throats. <laughs> but it, it's actually... I'm sure this is great for like food prep or cutting fruit. And I'm sure that's what uh, Ed's mom did with it. I think she sharpened the blade so much it became this shape. And that's what inspired this Elvia. So my plan is, and I ordered it already. Uh, now, Kayla's Johnson, I think I'm pronouncing that right. Kayla's Johnson's in Canada. So he's got to ship that out. I don't know when he's going to ship it out. And I don't know how long it's going to take to ship out. Um, hopefully soon and then I'll do another video where I'll replace the scales and show you guys that but the scale uh, you can see that the screws are just uh, flats and uh, regular screwdrivers Phillips and flat heads right so kind of cool 
Uh, I think they changed the pocket clip. I think it used to have no logos. Now it's got this logo. I've seen some people replacing their pocket clips too. Um, I did order another uh, thumb thingamabob, thumb disc. So for some reason, I can't flick it out. It's probably too tight on the pivot. I just can't do it. But if I middle flick it, it fires right out. So I, I don't know. Maybe my technique just sucks. Let me see if I can. Let me see if I can fast band it, this bad boy. Yeah, I can't do it. I don't know why. Whatever. So I'll just open it normal way. Isn't that weird? But that flies out like no issues. Um, yeah, so I also got a thumb disc. So I got a uh, 45 uh, I, I believe it's gold or bronze thumb disc, which is a little bit bigger than this thumb disc. So I heard that that can wave out. You can wave the knife open with it. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, uh, the G10 just irking me because I don't know if you guys can see that, but you see all my skin cells, all my DNAs in there. And it's a little rough. It's a little, it's like a little rasky. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, you can see it's nice centering on it. Got these nice standoffs. I also see people replacing this with standoffs, with a uh, uh, colored standoffs. I'm not sure. I'm not actually not sure if these are titanium. I know the liners are titanium. I'm not sure if these are titanium. These might just be steel. But, um, yeah. So, what I ordered from Kalis Johnson is going to be um, my Carta. It's a... Um, you know that, but it's a double black linen micarta. So it's going to very, it's going to look very similar to this. Very similar to this. So, yeah. So I got on that. I ordered that. And while I'm waiting on it, right, about a, somewhere in the middle of the week after I bought this, I saw that he posted like these pink, I'll see if I can add it on here, these pink G10 scales, like for, breast cancer awareness month or something and it just looked so cool and i have family members that uh suffer from breast cancer i just thought it was so cool so i ordered those two so i ordered those two and um dan i think that's his name dan Kayla johnson is gonna also because i bought the pink he says to whoever orders it if they have somebody that has um, you know, that's recovered from breast cancer or suffering from best breast cancer, he'll also give the, I think he made the G10 thumb disc also. So I'm getting that also. So when I get that, when I get that, I'll put it on and I'll show you guys. But um, yeah, that looked pretty sick. So now this was the dilemma, right? Because I don't, I, I kind of like it. I like the pink. It's going to look cool uh, in honor of breast cancer month. But now, you know, I got these other scales. But now it's too late. It was like a week's gone by and I checked. Uh, my code's no longer working. I, I said that wasn't my code was no longer working. It was sold out, right? The LVS at Emerson Knives was sold out. And then it's been flooding like the, the Facebook groups. Uh, the LVO Nye Facebook group I belong to, guys, of course, they bought these, right? They bought two, the satin and the black, and now they're selling it. Some greedy guys are selling for like 500 bucks. These go for, I think this goes for 269 and the black goes for 279 And some people are trying to make money on it, trying to make bank on it. I saw some guys post it. They want to sell it for like 500 bucks. Uh, some of the more reasonable people were selling for 400 bucks, you know? I think that was the lowest price. They were flipping it for 400 bucks. So I was like, damn, I don't, I don't want to pay 400 bucks or 500 bucks for another one. So whatever. I just said, you know what? I'll just get back on the wait list. And I highly recommend you guys get on the wait list if you really want to get one of these knives. Because I didn't wait that long, like I said. And they're going to make another drop eventually. In fact, I think actually the wait list is, I don't know how they're doing it. I don't know if they just, it depends on when you sign up for the wait list. Cause now I see that wait list listers have been notified about it and they're putting on the Facebook group. Some generous people are saying, Hey, I just got notified. I don't really need it. If you want it, I can forward you the email and the passcode. Um, so definitely, if you want it, definitely sign up for it. So whatever. Fast forward. I'm like, damn, now I got two scales and I only got one knife. So I just randomly just Googled. Uh, 
Emerson Knives Elvia, and boom, I see a link for the Elvia knife, right? I click on it just to look at it. I figure it's going to be sold out. I click on it. It's a wait lister uh, link, but it wasn't asking for the code. I said, like, wait, what's going on here? So I was like, you know what? Let me see if I can order it. So I ordered the black. It seems to be going through. Sent it to PayPal, paid the PayPal, and like, wait a second. Everything went through. I was like, wait a second. I hope I didn't just get scammed with like a bogus link because it didn't ask for a passcode. Uh, and it was the, I ordered it on a Friday. I ordered it so a week later. So the, I got this one 9.30, September 30. October 8th, I ordered the second one. And Emerson's not open, I believe. They're not open on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Not via phone anyway. So now I'm not, now I'm sweating. Like, Damn, did I just get scammed, you know? But, you know, I got the order receipt via email. It looked very similar to it. I just didn't get it. It's like, I don't get it. Was there a wait list with listers? How did I get this order through, you know? So Monday comes, I called up Emerson and they said, I just wanted to verify that I did in fact place an order. And the young lady at Emerson said, oh yeah, we got your order. We'll ship it out really soon. They ship it out really fast too, by the way, like within a week, less than a week. They ship it out. You pay, uh, I think it was uh, UPS. I forgot how much I paid. Like, I don't know, eight bucks. It might have been more, maybe like 11 bucks. And they ship it out of rubber. And legit, 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 legit order. I was shocked. I was like, okay, it goes for that wait list. And boom, got a black one. So my plan is, see if I can flick this one out. No, can't do it this one either. I just suck. So this one, I'm going to put the double black linen micarta on. Um, yeah, I Yeah, I just lucked out, guys. If you really want it. Just sign up for it. You should get it. Um, I should have got the two in the first place. That's what I should have done in the first place. Just got the two. But I didn't want to get greedy. I wanted people <laughs> to be able to order it. But apparently, people are ordering it and just flipping it. And then that changed my whole outlook on it. I said, screw these guys. Um, yeah, so I got this one for $279. And I got this one for, I think, $269. So pretty cool, pretty cool. So I can't wait to show you guys the new scales. So I see it's kind of boring with the black G10, right? What do you think? And it's flat. And again, it's acting as a substrate for my DNA, for my skin. So uh, titanium liner locks, very nice. I think it's just a really cool blade. So yeah, I didn't realize it was a fairly new design. I didn't, I didn't know it came out in 2019 i just thought it was you know out all, all all this time you know i would love to score like a rick lala version but who can afford that anyway guys um yeah i'll do an update video once i get the scales in and uh maybe i'll do it uh on screen peace